All right, everybody. So we've been on a uh, an expedition learning how to raise Caternix quail. And uh, it's been a journey, but we're doing well. So I uh, figured I'd give you a little update. Our oldest birds now are six weeks Monday. Um, we have brand new baby birds that were hatched starting last Saturday. So they're a week old now. Uh, so anyway, I'll give you a little uh, little tour of what we've got going on here. All right. So this is a four-story quail cage that I have built and still working on. Uh, I've got to plumb the two metal sections. I was more concerned with just getting the birds in it. This uh, larger section down here on the bottom works great for grow out. Uh, I think there's 32 birds in there right now. And then we move today these to the penthouse to the top floor. And there's about the same 32, 33 birds in here. Um, I built I built these wood feeders with the wire separators. Sort of like a J-Box feeder, but it's all made out of wood. Uh, I'll be putting those on the ends of each one. This one here is uh, 8 inches total tall. The one on the bottom is 10 inches total because I had a little more room to work with. That one holds a gallon of food. Uh, I've got the automatic waterers put in, uh, two on each end. Just use a five gallon bucket. Uh, keep it full and it keeps them full. And uh, of course we've got the two foot by three foot poop trays that I bought from AutoZone. That one's dented, it's okay. And then over here is my brooder. This is a homemade brooder as well I made years ago for chickens. Works well for the quail. There is 60 something, I don't know exactly. Almost 70 quail in here. These are, uh, I believe they were the gold color um, from uh, my shower farm. Again, these are weak olds and they are doing very well. Um, I'll have to change that water tomorrow to a uh, two gallon water because they're getting to the point where they're drinking more than, than that little half a gallon a day. But anyway, that's your quail update for the day. I know you've been sitting here waiting. So I figured. Here you go. But uh, it's been fun. Uh, like I said, we we're on six weeks of live birds. We have uh, incubated two sets: one of 119 eggs, one of 120. Um, we've had, uh, I don't know, like I said, low 70s uh, hatch rate so far. Um, the first batch had more uh, eggs that had nothing in them than this one. This one had like 16 or so, 17, um, where the other one had like 24. So uh, if you discount your 24 from 120, you birthing 70 out of 95 ish eggs um, you know it's not too bad uh, again this is just our second batch of eggs um, we got roosters that are crowing and uh, letting themselves be known started seeing some uh, jump on some of the hens uh, don't know that they are uh, sexually reproductive yet but they are definitely beginning to become sexually interested um, I haven't seen an egg yet. Again, we're only at six weeks. Uh, females can start laying at five, um, and depending on their conditions, uh, as late as up to 10. 
Um, so we'll see. I'm looking forward. I'm expecting over the next week to week and a half to start seeing some eggs drop. Uh, first three levels of my quail cage have uh, slanted for floors for rollouts. Uh, the bottom one does not. Uh, it's just a flat floor, floor for grow out. Um, it'll, it'll become a place where we keep roosters and stuff uh, uh, once we have more ground and we're looking at splitting. Uh, intentions are this that we'll have plenty making eggs. Um, We'll keep a couple of select colors that we will actually breed and keep incubating to keep fulfilling the holes until we get all of what we wanted. I started off with just a barnyard mix. I didn't care what color they were. I uh, assume they're all going to pretty much taste the same. Um, we did get these to raise for an uh, alternative meat source. Uh, you know, with my wife having uh, alpha gal. Uh, we have to eat uh, fowl and, uh, instead of your pork and beef. So, um, you know, COVID taught us a lot. Um, stores don't always stay full of what you need to eat, especially for somebody with an allergy. Uh, so the quail is an alternative to that. We, uh, we are looking forward to breeding these to sell uh, eventually, but right now just to eat. And uh, so we'll see where good Lord takes us and uh, how this road goes. But uh, right now they are inside in a carport that is full of three generations of stuff from where we moved into my great grandfather's home. Um, we're opening up room and uh, sharing space. But um, I'll end up building another one of these, uh, maybe not four story, but at least three um, in the you know, next couple of months as we keep raising birds and growing, uh, start running out of space, I'll, I'll start building them. Uh, I've been slowly building up uh, woodworking tools so that I can make more stuff here and not have to purchase it outside. Um, we'll see where it goes, but uh, y'all keep in tune, keep in touch. Subscribe to our videos, watch what we do, and uh, hopefully we'll entertain you a little bit, and uh, maybe even uh, we have uh, we have some little roosters in there that are damn sure talking. And of course, when I turn the camera around, they all get quiet. There was one. There's some cool little birds, but they are some poop machines. No doubt about it. They'll fill those two trays. When I had all the birds in one thing, they would fill those two trays in, in five, six days. Um, now, hopefully when I clean them, they won't be near as heavy and full. But uh, everything that I'm doing come from videos that I've watched on YouTube. Uh, again, we bought the quail from My Shire Farm. Um, there's a plethora of YouTube channels devoted to quail as it is an alternative meat source and, and money source for a lot of people. So anyway, stay tuned.